Hey guys, this is name pending. This is name pending. I'm Keeper. I'm Mike. You forgot your name for a second. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Has been as bad as your week. This That's is October. Toby. This is Pearl. We got a Cabo over here on the ground, and Bo Bo's behind me. Doing on something. Or... Around. Bo Duke. So, I mean, my week wasn't essentially as bad as it could have been. Your week is bad every week. Like, every week, you're like, oh, I'm having an awful week. I'm having a week. It's time for the forever sleep. Oh, well, um, yeah, I just live. I just live. You know. That life. Um, nothing like the sweet, sweet embrace of death to make things better. Mm, you know what? All the time. This was in the first 60 seconds of fucking YouTube, isn't it? No. I think we passed it 15 <laughs> seconds ago. Uh, but my week's not been great because I broke two of my pipes. Two of my pieces of equipment were broken on me. And my because pipe you're hard on equipment. My pipe graveyard is slow. I'm hard on equipment in general, right? So my pipe graveyard is like growing. We're just going to build a table. To just bury them in? No. To use as, like, your smoking table in your backyard. <laughs> I think about That'd be a freaking cool table. That would be a cool table. Um, And then I had to, I just... I you had, like, two or three projects you were talking I had, about? I had two projects where I just couldn't, I just couldn't get them figured out. And nothing sucks worse than on a Friday, you're trying to gun for the finish line, and you just can't. Um, oh. yeah, and then the other, thing. the other, thing. oh, Microsoft attacking you, Microsoft, fucking Microsoft. I mean, Listen, I know you're a Linux guy, I'm but... a Linux guy, I get it, I fucking get it, bro. However, don't go after my sleep, it's the one thing I got left. Uh, so there, there I am, middle of the night, suddenly music starts blaring at the top of its lungs. Or a speaker, in this case, right? What had happened was... The ones and zeros are screaming through the speaker. <laughs> what had happened was, is because... What had happened was... The, the application stuff I use for video editing and gaming and stuff works better on a Windows machine right now. Linux, I need you to catch up in this regard. Accessibility. I'm going to have a bunch of people disagree with me here, right? Um, Just because less people use Linux, that's why. Yeah. So... Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, they were like, okay, well, we're not just going to push an update in the middle of the night, but when we get done, we're going to open your browser back up. And play whatever crap we want to play. It, it's YouTube Music's on, and it's like, time to fucking wake up, bitch. It's fucking two in the morning. Fuck you. Yeah, no, I'd so be I'm, pretty I'm upset. Like, I'd be upset. Grabbing a gun. Flailing around, trying to figure out what the fuck <laughs> happened. in danger. Now my heart's fucking pounding, so I don't go to sleep for another 45 minutes, right? Because, like, adrenaline's kicked in, and I'm just like, err. And so it's, a, it's obviously it's a late time to get into work, because I'm not, I can't function off four hours of sleep. Now that we're talking about frustrating weeks and technical difficulties, but. Oh. Airman. Well, no. Before before well, we go into well, that, okay. Your week was eventful. You're like, oh, your week always sucks. For the most part, my week was good until I hit Thursday. What happened on Thursday? I forgot the stuff I needed to get into work. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I already drove 45 minutes there. Now I hit traffic, an hour back. It's not about an hour, 45 minutes driving, and I drove 37 minutes back from there. And I was like. And okay, I'm not doing this again. And then today, Friday, it happened again. And I was like, I get to work. I don't have any of my stuff. And I was like, screw it. I'm going home. I'm putting in leave. Like, and I had people call me. Is it coming in today? Nope. I'm not doing this another day in a row. That's my toe. <laughs> That's my sprung toe. <laughs> oh. What? That camera's off kilter so it said i'm still in the frame oh there we go oh more comfortable Girl, don't jump up. Every i jump up no but i i got come back on. home and i was like come on screw it you know i've done because I, I just work on an application i do all my stuff is based on linux on the back end yeah but all realistically it's just 
it's an application that I is forward facing that everybody touches. So I did all the I did for you the did past, the thing. I did a couple things that make it better for the customer, the user. I was like, all right, cool. Broke something, fixed it within like thirty minutes because owner of the organization was like, oh, I want this. Yeah. Like, my recommendation is we don't touch default. Leave default default. Yeah. We'll know. I'm the one that pays your paycheck. Do this. It's like, all right. Okay. I mean, here. Okay. So here we go. Did it. Broke it across the board. Getting calls, getting emails. I'm not responding to any of them. Trying to fix what I just broke based off what they requested. So fix that. And thankfully, the person was there. They're like, hey, I rec. I request this, and they were running interference so I could fix the issue. Yeah. So good on them instead of just disappearing and no one ever knowing anything. Yeah. But today, forgot the stuff I needed to get into work, so I came home. I was like, I'm just going to be successful today. No, you, like, accomplished. I I need to get my bike registered, which means I need to fix the horn. So on the way home, I bought a horn, but I didn't have my wallet. So I needed... I was like, okay, well, who takes Google Pay? Props to Harbor Freight. As much they as take I Google talk Pay? shit about Harbor Freight and their stuff, but they have one of the original goat horns, and it's a two-part. So one's a 300, one's a 380 hertz. So I put the 380 hertz on my bike. It's just a normal 12-volt battery horn. So yeah. I have an extra, extra horn for whenever this one muddies up too much, and I'll just switch them out. Like, okay, cool. But we also have a giant oil stain from when we changed the oil in your truck. Say oil again. Oil. <laughs> giant oil drain. Oil. <laughs> so ended up repainting my whole, my driveway and the sidewalk up to my front. And I did two coats on that. So it's concrete gray. It looks like someone just repaved my, oh. it, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. I was walking in to your house <laughs> and I was going, man, this, this looks really nice. <laughs> so did that. From like eight to one. Somewhere in there I did the horn and then I changed all the exterior lights in the front to have the nice black lantern instead of the gross stock yeller. Yeller lights. So, I, I installed blue lights in front of my house. I didn't I didn't mention that to you by the way. I found out that they were like day night lights. Mm-hmm. On the ones I never turn on. Mm-hmm. They're day night lights. Oh, I mean, yeah, that was the ones that for the front because yeah. I was like, oh, well, I could buy another switch that has it so an hour before sunset and before sunrise, or I could spend a fraction of the cost and just have lights that have a photosensitivity light up top, a sensor. That's exactly what these did. I installed blue lights. Our old house, I had blue lights. I love red blue lights. lights and I love green lights. Yeah. Yeah. You had red lights because you're a uh, yeah. red light district. Yeah. No, but I was, I did a lot today. I read, I mean, I redid a texture on the walls. Yeah, I mean, you made me feel like a piece of shit. I mean, I pushed out two shorts yesterday. I'm going to dive more into more shorts coming soon. I pushed nothing out. Well, not true. You pushed some out. I threw thumbnails on them the other day. So Those are just clips, bro. That's just whatever. Until I'm pushing out pull videos, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, I mean, did the garage, fixed some of the shower, did some texture, and then I was oh, like... Oh, and we got your garage organized. Oh, garage is organized, and now everything that's pretty much in that pile over there is going to be on... It's going to be on one of those ceiling mounts, ceiling hangers. Like I got? Yeah. So, I think I'm probably going to... I'm going to start with three. I'll buy three, two above the uh, workbench, mm-hmm. and then one in the corner by the... Uh, the only thing about those is it does affect your lighting. I only have one light in there, though. I know. difference between mine and yours is I have one light. I'm sure it will still affect the lighting with oh, shadows. Oh, no, it absolutely will. But I won't worry about it too much until I have to fix that issue. Well... Because my issue I figured, is just... because what I, I do want to do is at some point is I want to get those like swivel bench lights. I saw this new light that I really, really like. So it comes down. Well, it's kind of like on one of those extension cords. Yeah. 
it's not extension cord, but it's extension cord. You pull down, and then you just turn it to where you're going. But it's it's a flower bud of lights. Ooh. It was like, and it's kind of like the screw and light bulbs yeah. that have that. So I can kind of have it focused towards this area, like this way out, and and it'll shine this whole 180 degrees this direction, and I have light there. It's like. That works because I don't. I wouldn't care about the dark side of the shop at that yeah. point, or the, or the garage, moon. or the moon, because I'm dealing with what I get to deal with here. And then I'll just swivel mount it or whatever, fix it to what I'm dealing with. I was like, well, now that you actually have your garage set up, I can actually we can do more car stuff, especially once I actually get the Mustang registered again. So I hit a point on the horn. I was like. So I did all this, and I was like, okay, it should be working. It's not working. It should be working. It's not working. So I take it all off, and I check it, and I'm I'm pressing the horn button. And I was like, okay, fuse is good. I'm hearing the click. Okay, that means it has to be ground then. So instead of it being, because the way card horns work, uh, they attach by a long metal joint, and they have like three or four plates. Two are like normally stuck together, and these two are like kind of loose where yeah. you would normally throw a wire in. Yeah. Where I've always thrown a wire in. Maybe I've been doing it wrong. That wasn't working. So I was like, screw it. Put it in the back right next to the bolt, closest to true ground you can get. Yeah. And I just tighten that bad boy down, and I was just like, honk. This is the first time I've had a horn, a proper horn, not like an air horn or some bougie motor, an actual horn on that bike since I bought it. And I was like, this is loud. I kind of like it. Because <laughs> the first horn I had when I bought it was like a wimpy, just like, hark, hark. like, yeah. You, and so my standpoint was, you, you'll hear me rev before you hear my horn. It's useless to have a horn on a bike. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I agree. Well, today, unless you have a horn. Well, today definitely changed my opinion on it completely because I turned the bike on. And I was over here just wow 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 honk honk. I was like, mm, yes, I can hear a horn. So now I'm just gonna irrationally honk at people for no reason. I might be that guy in San Antonio. I wonder what the horn on my truck sounds like. I don't know if I've ever used it. I've used it. Have you? We were driving back from your parents. It might need to be replaced with a deeper, bassier horn. Or, hear me out, we get an air compressor. I don't want to install a train horn on it. Not a train horn. Okay, I'm listening. A bigger air horn. Not a train horn, a proper air horn for a truck. Okay. Because my dad installed it, or he he installed it, and then I helped him fix all the wiring because it (laughs) wasn't installed properly (laughs) when I went up there. So, I mean, we could totally install a proper just air horn get the fuck out of my way hey dumbass you're doing something wrong because i nothing is worse to me than if you're driving around in a truck you go to hit the horn and it's like i mean you can easily just get a small little bottle enough to fit because trucks now have compartments under their back seats Mm -hmm. which is where my dad's was it's like and boom no effect at all it doesn't do anything and it doubles to fill up tires on the side of the road because it runs off your battery, so you'll always have extra air. Extra air. It's like, yes, it being pretty much the size of a two-liter bottle, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to have to fill up. And Well, I mean, I've got like a $250 yeah. fucking beefcake. I mean, beef you have cake. a proper beefcake one. Yeah. I, it is designed to fill up truck tires. That's what I got it. All right, so... We went off on a tangent, but you had a coworker you were talking about. Coworker. Annoyances. Annoyances. Talking about cursing. Oh no, no, no. I was I was going to this this is a light, right? It's oh, okay. like airmen, right? Because like I'm not a scary guy. I'm really not. No, you just emit asshole. Well, yes. But I emit asshole. And so. I'm and I'm loud. And the longer I'm married to Jess, she emits asshole. And I'm and I'm aggressive. I can admit all these things. But 
it's to the point to where Airman will walk around the corner, and I'll look at him, and I was like, what the fuck do you want? Complete 180. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, uh, we just wanted this. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let me help you with this thing. I mean, that was the first time we met. I was still in uniform, and you're like, who the fuck's this new guy? <laughs> I don't even remember that. <laughs> That's the thing. You've told me this multiple times. I don't remember this story at all. Because our boss brought me in, and was, I was supposed to be learning from, uh, I think it was Avalon. Yeah, Avalon. On what we were working on, and it was just, here you go. Learn from him. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know. I I do miss the times where I gave. I I don't know if I can get away with it now, right? But years ago, oh, I nicknames. I gave all the airmen nicknames. Well, yeah, because half the airmen you gave nicknames now are opposite pronouns. No, one, well, yeah. Um, but <laughs> I mean, the reason I gave them nicknames is because I don't. It's a pet name. I well, don't need to know your real name. I don't know. I can't know all their names, right? I don't know no, all the air cakes. You hop in so fucking fast. I, you're pop tarts. I I told I told the some of the airmen either this week or last week. I was like, y'all all look the same to me. It's like we're different colors and heights and everything else. I was like, you y'all still all wear the, the same, same uniform. Y'all all act the same. Y'all all look the same. You're just fucking airmen. You're all the same. They they yeah. You're all the fucking same. So, since this airman got to where I work, no joke, we've always been, well, we have good conversations, but we just nag on each other like brothers. Yeah. Consistently. He was like, oh, well, you're an old man. And it's like, well, I mean, I'm 10 years your senior, so sure, definitely. I'm definitely an old man in comparison to you. Yeah, right. So. Fucking old bitch. All, all this joking around. So then I get an email, and he just came to my office and gave me so much shit for having a gray streak over here. I was just like, I just need to get him back. And then I see an email, pie in the face. And it's like, you know I was fucking $50 for 10 cent a piece right now? Yeah. I pulled it out for something else, but $50, 10 cents a piece. Here's all the votes directly on you. And I made sure he was in the office when I did it. So I walk over to the one collecting the funds. It's like, I want it on this airman. I want it directly on this airman. And you hear in the background, Whoa, whoa, whoa. What'd I do to you? <laughs> so, yeah, remember that time you called me old? He's like, that's not fair. You just throw money at things. I was like, oh, sucks to have money, bro. And I was like, well, I mean, you could throw the same. He's like, but that means I'd have to. And I was like, oh, oh, so you'd have to lose something. Bummer. That sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he has like two, 300 votes on him right now. Whereas I'm like, well, I guess I just don't buy that bottle of bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I guess I'm not buying. Because I was going to buy a bottle. And that's what it was. I was going to buy a bottle. going to buy it cash because it's like 5 $6 cheaper. Okay. going to buy something. I look. It's a Canadian rye whiskey that I wanted to try. Okay. And I wanted to bring it for podcast. And it's just, it's like, mm, but someone's talking shit. I can't, I can't judge you for. It was like, mm, nope. By the this way, wins. speaking of drinking on podcast, what are we drinking tonight, Keeper? We're drinking the Godfather. What is the Godfather? Godfather is amaretto, one piece, and the other two parts are a whiskey or a bourbon. Okay, what did we use for our whiskey this time? It was Dalmore. It's the twelve year, I think, is we or eighteen. I think it, year. I think it's the eighteen year. Eighteen year. So um, we have a nice, nice mist mist. Mix, mix, Woo. mix, a nice mix, Woo. of whiskey <laughs> and just a taste of amaretto. So it has this nice little. It's like a dessert. Now, how do you, how do you make it? Is it is it a shake or is it a stir? So you can do it both ways. It's either a shake or a stir. I've shaken it both times, and it goes down real smooth. It goes down real smooth. I. I know it's weird, but I prefer shaken drinks. But the only reason I prefer shaken drinks is because I prefer shaking my drink, right? Like, there's something very satisfying about doing a shake. So, I'm a fan of shake. Shake weight. For the very reason of it gets colder faster. It does get colder faster. And you feel it in the cup when you're shaking it or even shaking it one hand. You're doing all the moves, the bartender, 
and just <laughs> spaz the eagle. <laughs> <Ka-ka>! Ka-ka! <laughs> hey. <laughs> but I enjoyed Ooh. that. Well, these more. dogs just farted. Damn. It, it had to be one of your dirts. Ooh. But I enjoy the shaken more than stirred because stir, I like cold drinks. Yeah. Especially mixed drinks. I like them cold and you throw an ice cube in there or rocks in there and it will slowly warm up. Yeah. Now, if it's stirred, I'm putting all the excess of what I aggravate in this drink into my drink, which it's just ice. Yeah. But I'm diluting it fast. Right. Like, I'll drink my martinis dry. Like, there's a lot of things that I would prefer you pretty much not molest my drink unless you're going to shake it. Yeah. Because I don't have all the excess of the ice that had abrasions across each other and small chunks are in there Mm -hmm. that get through. Nope. If you're going to shake it, shake it there. If you're going to stir it, there's very specific drink that I like stirred. But it's, it's a dessert drink. I'm on my second, and I'm like, mm. Delicious. Delicious. But book talk. Uh, book it's been talk. a long tangent to book talk. But it's, it has. I don't know if I've talked about I might have talked about this series on book talk before. Are you further down the book train? I am further down the book train. I don't think I've built, like, a set. Like, I don't think I built a clip I off of it. I don't remember you talking about this specifically. Um. Okay. Um so I'm doing the thing. I know phone time. Phone time. Um by Walter White. Will White. Will Wright. White. White. Will White. W I G H T. Will White. Yeah, it honestly I I have to say it slowly. Because it's like a tongue twister for me. I don't know if it's just my southern accent or what. My Appalachian kicks and I start talking fast and just forget. Will why? Will why? Will Maybe I need another godfather. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this is the Last Horizon series by Will White. Uh, the third book for when we're recording this podcast. Uh, just came out the night. Um, I think it released on the eleventh. Will White. And I finished it that night. Um, wow, Thorn reads fast, flexing on all of us. But the first book in the series is called The Captain, right? So the premise of the series is that you're in, you're in a. It's not like the future. It's not our universe, right? But it's. You know, there's humans, there's multiple different species, you know, out there. They have technology and they have magic, and it's all kind of intermixed and doing weird things together, right? Um, this, uh, this man who's a, uh, the, the main character who's the son of the owner of a major, like, corporation, evil corporation, more or less, right? Crime organization, hence Godfather. No, it's not a crime organization. It's just a big evil corporation. Evil conglomerate. Yeah. Godfather, um, mafia. He's put together this spell, a very, very expensive spell, because they go extensively over how much everything costs to make it happen. Mm. But essentially what the spell is supposed to do is it's supposed to give him, because the rules to magic is that you only have time and the ability to gain access to mastery over one form of magic. In your lifetime. In your lifetime, right? Okay. So, like, if you want to be, like, a water mage, like an arc mage of wa- of the element of water, that's, that's it. That's all you got, right? You, you might do a little bit of weird things with it. And Pretty much you can't ice. become an avatar. Yeah. <clears throat> well, he comes up with a spell that will give him access to an additional five lives worth of magic right and so he's like i'm gonna have access to six different forms of magic i'll be an archmage of all of them right i'll just be a demigod well it goes a little askew because he doesn't just get the memories for the magic he gets the memories of these lives that live 
and in every single one of these other five lives, he dies somehow. So let's say your normal life is like 80 years. Multiply that by five. You have that many years worth of... Well, but like every single time he dies early to one big bad or another, right? Like Holy giant cow. cyborgs that conquer the entire universe or giant you know, alien insect monsters. So are these all in the same universe, or are they like alternate universes that he's? They're all. They're all. Heck, they're all part of the same universe. The same universe they're galaxy. All potential endings to the life. Endings to his life. They're all potential futures. Jeez. And so he gets all of this, and his dad's like, "Hey, what happened? Where are you going?" And he just boards the ship. It dips out. And his dad's like, "What the fuck, bro? We just spent all this money to make this happen. You just dip." What happened is he got access to all these memories, and the first thing he decides to do is just go off and fucking solve all the universe's problems before they happen, right? So that's what okay. he does, is he spends a year fucking just fixing, sol- everything. fixing everything. And he's like, cool, I solved all the problems, right? I'm good. I can go home and rest. And he's like, I'm going to go be a teacher at a, uni- a magic university somewhere, <laughs> because fuck it, I don't know what to do I, now. I, I know everything. I might as well teach everything so you know he's he's solved the last problem and uh he's hanging out but you know the universe is gonna get you so like his last problem that he solved really solve it there's a way out for the big bad for this this big bad well he's you know doing you know spelunking in between teaching classes and he comes across a ancient artifact an ancient artifact a legendary like handed down through history ship that is screwed by legend and it just crops up every now and then through That's, history it's like st- and it's, stargate the ancients that made the stargates yeah, it, and it's made it's made out of ancient technology with ancient magic it's like touching atlantis it, yes pretty much and he was like he becomes you know i'm not giving anything away it's the name of the fucking book right he becomes the captain of the last horizon right and then like the story really progresses from there because you don't get you don't see him solving all the universe's problems he's like i've solved all the problems like we do a time skip i've solved all the problems yeah and then we pick up right and now he's dealing with where he's at now. and now he's dealing with where he's at he's become the captain of the last horizon he's got to assemble his crew and the crew is kids. well i've lived all these lives might as well Pick and choose throughout yeah, the best I mean, of the best. he knows a bunch of people from his past lives, right? And so the crew And consists, they all know me. We probably all look the same. They and... don't know him. Oh. They don't that's... know him. But he knows everything about them. He knows everything them. about them. They know nothing about him. Because they didn't experience those lives with him. Wow. Okay. So he has to get an engineer, which when when they build a contract with The Last Horizon you know, adds their, their capabilities to the last horizon. Um, you know, they get a knight, a commander, which, you know, the commander controls their fleet. Yeah. Right. Um, engineer, cap, captain, captain, engineer, commander, medic, pilot, probably. um, and sword. Okay. Wait, how many is that? That's five. And knight. Six. Yeah, six. It's six total. So you got your marshal, your flyer. Yep. Him being magic across the board. And they do a really good job of giving the, the, the author, Will White. He gives, and I've already said it multiple times before, but he gives a really good job of giving characters character, even like offshoot characters. But like all six of your main characters have value. Realistically, they're all main characters, but they are all fascinating people. They all have value, and there's humor included, there's comedy included, and it's just like, it's just really good, right? Like, I'm really enjoying my journey. I'm going to have to pick up my book reading. I'm just going to have to walk around with freaking... (laughs) I've been trying to get you to read so many books, bro. I know. I've been trying so hard. I know that you're doing a lot of self-help stuff. I've read through, like, I think I've read through, like, 22 hours this week of uh, the book in a year. Yeah. It was just like... Oof. Okay. So I mean, I'll, I'll... I think I just ate a bug. Protein. That's fine. So I mean, I'm at, I'm at the end of March, 
So with this, if I keep this up and I listen at work, I could definitely push through in the next month or so and then dive into all the fantasy books. I've got so many books lined up for you, bro. Or here's an idea. I'll read all my fantasy stuff at work because I'm there split for time. Yep. Split Dude, time. Do you like your commander does? Yeah. Split time. <laughs> have we talked about him on podcast? I don't think we have, but we'll, we'll have to touch on that in a second. And we'll try to touch it real quick. I mean, he watches the podcast and tells me he loves the book talks and he's reading all these different books, depending on where he's at in the house. In the house, does anywhere, coffee time, living room time, office time, bathroom time, garage time, workout time, all over the place. Thanks, bro. I'd like to grab a drink with you. And offer him recommendations from yours truly, Mike. So let's talk about. Oh, dear. He's about to trigger me. If you say mechanic bullshit, no. If someone put a fucking bullshit thing in your engine, I'm just going to leave. And you're going to have the rest of the podcast. To Let's so. talk about the LGBTQTR plus F. Okay, C cool. We, before community. You, L, be, lesbian, gay, bisexual, gay, G, gay, T. It doesn't matter what you transition to. You're gay towards the same or. You were this before, so gay. Pet the dog. I will totally pet you. Q, queer just means gay. It's like, I... <sighs> so, they are reaching for things to be upset about. I don't like this. I don't like this already. We just watched a, a, oh, a, a Reddit God. video where they were like, LA U-turn is sign. removing YouTube U-turn, U-turn signs. signs. Because they're against the gay community Because was it back in the 1920s? Yeah, yeah, because you, you turn signs or somehow, and it's like, bro, no, seriously though, bro, you're fucking reaching at this point. You're desperately reaching for something to be upset about. I mean, to a small point, I can understand where they're coming from because no. we would steal speed hump signs and post them up in our dorm rooms. Because that just means speed hump faster. Oh, Mike lost his lighter and pipe. But it's no different than, to a small degree, college kids stealing a sign because it says speed hump in the north, which now we're yep. having speed hump signs in the south. But this is a, this is, but they're like completely removing, not this is stealing. A this is the city going, oh, we need to remove these signs because they offend people. It's like, it's a U turn sign. How do you do U-turns? How does the Don't U-turn do U-turns sign, right here. How does the U-turn sign even get close to offending or directing? Well, you don't know the history behind the U-turn sign and why it was put up. I mean, hey, I don't, but keeper, I did. Keeper, what think... are your pronouns? What are your pronouns and your sexuality, Keeper? I need to know your pronouns and My your sexuality. My pronouns are try me. <laughs> or... It's try me slash catch me outside, bish. But that's not your sexuality. What's that your is... sexuality? Try me. <laughs> I didn't think U-turn signs started in the 1920s. Or, or no U-turn signs, rather? Yeah, no U-turn signs. Like, uh, it... Look, we're getting phone time in. I am, because I didn't think you could... I didn't think this... It. I know. For a fact, it had nothing to do with the community. It had to do with this no, is the safe no. way to fucking drink. It had everything to do with the gays, bro. It had everything to do with the gays. Is, can because this count as the pillow? Here's the thing: is I need to feel important. Bite your pillow, please. I need to feel important. Like just bite your pillow. <sighs> like I don't think this we're, doesn't make sense. We to are me. one step away from pedophiles. <sighs> being acceptable for reality no no yeah Pe- mm. pedophiles are, are trying to integrate themselves into the community too and they're just going to embrace it right because so, what what are they called minor something minor accepting or something like that 
minor progressive? I just I have the fact thing just going in my head <laughs> because th this is stupid. <laughs> so, what you're specifically talking about? NBC Montana talked about this. The council member explained no U-turn and no cruising signs in Silver Lake neighborhood were installed in 1997, not 1920s, like what's talked about, to target and persecute the LGBT community. We're talking about one place. One place in all of the United States that did it. One. Not since the 1920s. Since 1997. Oh, that this happened. But, but we need to Which, remove by the, way, the no U-turn sign. Montana is not L.A. Silver Lake, Montana is not L.A. Like, but I got a keeper. I need you to color your hair blue <laughs> and remove the U-turn sign, the no U-turn sign, because it's against the homosexuals. The, no, no, the whole and no the pansexuals and the bisexuals <laughs> and the centisexuals. The only sign the, that this has been the T sexuals to is there was a no cruising sign in the 1990s, early 1990s, where it was posted. Just off some small research. And the asexuals and the bisexuals and the c-sexuals and the desexuals. Mike, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> like, this This goes back to, do your research. Like, I don't think the gentleman... It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It can all... You no, know no, whose it, fault it, it is? No child left behind. The patriarch. It's the patriarchy's fault. It's white man's fault. It's I'm the still white gonna, patriarchy's fault. I'm still going to blame no child left behind. It is no child left behind because uneducated motherfuckers are fucking trying to push this shit. Here's, here's, no, you're here's dumb. my problem. You're here's staying, my problem. You're here's staying my problem. Grade. You're here's staying my problem. Grade, bitch. You're dumb. <laughs> Stay there. Here's my problem. Why the fuck? We, we... We live in a democratic republic. Why? Supposedly. Why are we living, listening, living, listening to the smallest minority we can find? I think we just lost the camera. Did we lost the camera? Mm. Damn it, man. Hey, girl. Hey, we didn't change batteries. Hey, we'll catch you we, in a second. We... Back to small town and democratic republic. You changed the battery. I did something I, I I forgot what I was bitching about, by the way. Talking about LGBT community. Yeah, with, just the whatever community. I don't like know. Like alphabet soup, caring about street signs. That I just, I just don't keep your it. shit to your... It, fuck it, stop. Can we just stop? Can we all just you know, stop? This, this really goes into left, right, indifferent. Why are we diving so much into what they want to push us to believe. Why can't we just be the people? And this is your opinion. Yeah, fine. That's your opinion. Cool. The, the this your is opinion. what you believe in. Fine. That's what you believe in. Oh, 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 man! Fucking five hundred thousand people or whatever it is out out of the United States, which is a minority, by the way, think this way. And it's like, well, let's not bow down to this little minority. You I'm not saying let's suppress the minority. No, don't suppress but them. But let's stop trying to change our entire culture, based our off. entire way of life. Yeah. Let's stop re-educating our children based off of a minority fucking group. Please, for the love of God, I'm so fucking tired of it. Hold up. No, I'm fucking really fucking tired of us fucking changing everything about our fucking culture. Oh, well, you gotta change our, your language. Because it doesn't fucking accord with our fucking, the way we want to be talked about. No, fuck you. That's how fucking the English language has worked in America the entire fucking time. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. If you don't like it, don't be around us. I'm scared of October. Big surprise. <laughs> she's, she's desperately wagging her tail and looking at she me. She needs a safe space. <laughs> I'm not upset with you, October. Like, my, my biggest thing, I watched a video earlier on YouTube before we started the podcast. It was like, look, left, right. Realistically, you guys are both fighting for very similar issues for what you believe in. But you have no fucking say because the people you voted into office don't fucking care. They don't care. 
listen, all we have to do is look at Biden as he fucking once again just wanders off camera and his fucking handler fucking snatches him up and is like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, don't don't wander off by the can, like can we talk about how he shit himself? Wait. Intentionally I, wait. Like, dude drops a squat. No. In the middle. No. Doing someone else is talking and he just drops a squat. Nah, bro. And not a full squat. He maybe did like ten percent no. of a squat. No. And it was like, mm, what are you doing, bro? Dem- demonstrate the squat for me. He's just like, so he's standing up here, and he just goes. Does he make eye contact the entire time? I mean, he didn't look direct. I mean, his wife was over here just like motioning him. Oh, to... no. No. Why, what? Why, why are we, we doing this? Why someone so fucking senile into office? Things like this. And I know. This gives me distrust in our government. Well, it does. And. It, this is where we're. I'm. I'm going full conspiracy theory, guys. So bear with me. Here's the thing. Oh dear God, he's gripping the mic. This guy, okay. full on ball sack, straight in his face. Grab it like my ball sack, not my penis. My penis is much, much smaller. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Millimeter uh, penis. Um, how? How? How did he get elected? How, no, that, well, I mean, yes. How did Biden get more votes than the first black president? Explain this to me. Somehow, Biden, the incompetent, ultra old, senile white man. Well, well, Obama already did eight years. Got more votes than Obama. But Obama already did eight years. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He it can't doesn't serve matter. A third term. I. It doesn't matter to me, bro. Obama, hands down, should he, have had more dem- Democratic votes. But he than serve, Biden. He couldn't serve a third term. I know. That's why he's in the background. Uh, more conspiracy theory. That's why he's in the background. <laughs> controlling. Fucking controlling <laughs> shit. He fucking said this. On fucking national TV, he's like, it, my dream would be to be in the background and just controlling things from the back. Because he was done being controlled? Is that, is that what you're going with? Well, <laughs> I do I do kind of buy into the, the theory that our presidents are controlled, you know, by the, the At this government. Point, I just want, I want Trump to be president so we could have our first felon president. I'm on board. <laughs> maybe maybe it will change the status of felons like, in the United States. We talking about if our choices are old senile grandpa that supposedly conspiracy wise doesn't rule or control anything or our first felon president. You know what other country wants to fuck with at this point? Is like I'm a felon, I went to jail and then I got elected and I got in there. I have a shank in my boot, bro. Let's go. I've got a lot of issues with Trump. Here's the thing, though. He did get North Korea to back the fuck down. <laughs> he did. Like, he's the first Not president we've North had. North Korea. Russia. Yeah, he's, he's the first president we've had in a long time where North Korea is like, nah, man, I don't want to fuck with that, so, bro. here you go. Scoot up. It, I totally loved how he did this. He was just like, you're, you're never supposed to touch a foreign dignitary, but he's just like, and then he, the video's out there. Yeah. And he's just like, Mm, yeah, sit down yeah, so we and can Pu- talk. And Putin's just like to Putin and Kim, whatever. Kim, Kim, fuck your face. It, like, like holy cow! Like he had his business mindset on. It was just like fucking try me. By the way, things, think fun fact, uh, uh, supposed fact about Kim. Apparently, he's a fan of World of Tanks. Okay. That's the first time I've ever heard of this. Yeah, apparently they track like the network activity for it, and there's like well, a we knew large he was a gamer. There's a large bandwidth to North Korea, uh, and there is an account that has everything purchased for it on World of Tanks, and they think it's him. I mean, I could, I, I could, could see that. I could see it. I could see it. Right now, if 
going to North Korea specifically on this topic, if his sister or the female becomes the main the main leader of all of North Korea, oh dear God, she is Satan incarnate. No, I'm sure that's fine. That'll work out for us. I mean, and everyone involved. In my opinion, not if we have Biden in office. He's like, so let's go no. get ice cream. No, I mean, literally, you're talking about a a government, an executive branch that is buying into China shit. This is the first time in recent memory where I've seen the executive branch and Congress in complete disagreement on how to treat a foreign power. I could agree on that. Yeah, because, no, right. like, we were we were doing a a a um a internet line that went from America to China, and Congress shut that shit down. I wasn't tracking this one. Yeah, they they shut that fucking shit down because you know we've got internet lines that go everywhere, yeah. and this was going to be well, our yeah, and we paid depending on different network infrastructure. This was going value, to be this was going value. to be our first direct connect to China, and Congress was like, "Y'all can fuck off with that shit. We ain't doing that. No direct Good. connects to China." And, and like, so this is the discrepancies because like our executive branch is like, "Fucking more China, fucking more China." a little bit more time and it's like everyone else is they're going nah bro but but they're not our friend it, it, it and again this is where i don't trust the clintons which by the way hillary clinton here's another conspiracy theory this is my personal conspiracy theory hillary clinton died on the campaign trail and they brought her back as a zombie or a clone i stand by that one she is a fucking clone. zombie. I stand by clone. I'll go off the clone <clears throat> conspiracy. I won't go off the zombie. No, no. Fucking undead. I do think it's interesting how she just... Her charges disappeared, but somehow Trump has all these felony charges, which were also done properly outside of court mm -hmm. with the individual he was dealing with. Mm-hmm. But now we have to bring it back up to court, and he's <clears throat> facing felony charges for this. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually, I know this is going to be contentious for conservative individuals, but I like Bill. I Bill really Clinton. like Bill. I do like Bill. I <laughs> like Bill a lot. Like if you look back at Bill's history and everything he's done, he actually did a lot very well. Yeah, he 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 had his shit together. It Here's like, the thing. Okay, so you slept around. He slept around a lot. So you're like everyone nowadays. Can we can we vote Bill back? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't vote Bill back because then you'd just be voting Hillary, Hillary in, you know, zombie vicariously. Hillary. Yeah, zombie Hillary vicariously through Bill. Well, I mean, even when she was Secretary of State, she still did things uh, non-kosher. Yeah, that to weren't cool. Policy. Yeah. Benghazi. There was a lot of shit I ain't happy about. So, but but this does lead me into my next topic, right? Oh, dear God. So, it's 2024. We have a bunch of old people in this office. Yeah. Yes, we do. They're going to be dying soon. Well, our next presidential debate is going to be technically both very old individuals. We are going to end up in a mass grave of old politicians. You know what? I will totally quote Elon Musk on this one. The only way we're going to see change is if the old politicians die. Now, here's the thing. Imagine a number of politicians from my generation. I could support this. Because, <laughs> no, and, and I say this very specifically is because your generation was who I hung out with. Your generation was who I looked up to. Technically, you still hang out with my generation. No, I mean, yeah, still not. I mean, I'm, I'm right here, but bro. I'm, at, I'm right here, bro. But I'm at the younger part of your generation that you guys were the seniors to me being a freshman. Like, I looked up to all of that. My sister was, is your same age. Yeah. I hung out with all her friends. I dated in her friend group. I 
all my stuff was ahead of me, that my mindset is more like this, which is probably why we're friends, because I don't have my, oh, let's get fucking shit-faced all the time. It's like, no, let's do something productive and get, get shit-faced. Shit faced. Yes! <laughs> That's how life is just supposed to work. I just, I don't have the mindset of everyone else, because we have a friend group in, or a group of individuals my age where I work. Yeah. Like, oh, we're going to go to the bar, or we're going to go to 6th Street in Austin, or it's like, eh. He's like, oh, no, come hang out. It's like, or hear me out. I could spend half that and make my own mixed drinks. Yeah. Well, yeah, but then you have to make the mixed drinks. So, I but listen, enjoy making my mixed I drinks. I could make my own mixed drinks and have twice the amount of what you're going to have tonight and then have it four other nights the same value. Yep. It's like, I just, I don't see the, if I'm going to a bar, I know I'm going to have maybe three drinks mm -hmm. and I'm going there to it's, it's a bitch session and I'm me specifically. I'm married. I'm there to be a wingman. If so, if you specifically, yeah, it's like, well, I'm going to bar. If someone hits on, it's like, Oh yeah, let's go. I'll, I'll be your right hand. I like, go, oh, here we go. This is where we're going to go. Or we're going to go and we're going to have the shittiest fucking white pizza ever. Plane is all get out. You <sighs> picked that place. I didn't pick the food place. You chose that place because the brisket fries I had. The brisket fries were, were tasty. Like, I really like those. I, I, how can I predict that the pizza would be all? So what we're talking about is we went to a brewery in Bernie. The beer was good. The beer was delicious. The establishment we went to was solid. The, the, I, the, the staff and everything there, but one of their food vendors got overwhelmed. Third-party food vendor. Just... Third-party food, food vendor. He got overwhelmed. Um, he had his <sighs> own pizza oven. Uh, he was like, it's going to be 30 minutes for your pizza to be made. And I was like, okay, bro, whatever. When he said... 15 minutes at tops. He but. charged me $17 for a personal pizza. We could get cheaper at back on terms. And I was like, that's a lot for a person. Fuck it, I'm out drinking. I don't give a shit, right? Like, it's 17 bucks. I, I spent 17 bucks. I spent more than 17 bucks tonight bringing fucking Topo Chico's over, right? Oh, yeah. Um, I said, fuck it. And we get the pizza finally after, like, more than 30 minutes. It was, like, 40 minutes. Um, And it was just... There was no flavor. When you think about white food, it was the whitest fucking pizza I've ever eaten in my life. Like, he was and like, I oh, get that I'm a it, try it, and I was like, I'm good. That that kind of looks too greasy. I tried what a slice, a slice. I ate it because I was hungry. Yeah, I mean, I am a Cajun man. I do not function under no spice. <laughs> it was so. I'm white. Between the two of us, I'm the whitest individual. And I'm trying this. I was like, ooh, that's like white, white. Yeah. Like, it was plain for me. It was bland. Like, the cheese was bland. The sauce was bland. It the wasn't cooked all was the bland. way. It was, and and we even talked about there, it was like the flour wasn't cooked all the way through, which should be proper. You shouldn't have all the flour. You should still have some debris there. But it was, it was, it was more, chewy. There was more debris of flour than I expected, and it was just like, yeah, no, I'm glad I chose the brisket fries we shared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, our next excursion is coming up soon, right? Yep, I think it's is it this coming Monday? It's the twenty fourth or twenty something. What, no, I need to check my calendar. Fifteenth? No, it's not this Monday. I think it's next Monday. I'm super excited. I'm excited. We're we're going to Bandera this time. We're going to Bandera. Bandtuck. Bandtuck. Which if our top buddy was here right there. But where Pearl, Pearl is. Oh Pearl. He would totally say it's Bantucky because the amount of corruption that's happening in the police force there is Which by the way we say that, but thank you, police force, for not giving me a ticket that one time. They've gotten a lot better. And I can 100% agree with you. People are doing 70 miles an hour through my neighborhood oh. where the speed limit is 30. 
One thousand percent fucking people need to be pulled over. Holy shit, bro. I can't say I've done that because my car just autopilots to your house. And I know we'll do it all the way. So I just and I'm I'm texting. I do like forty fifty, right? I don't but like seventy? Seventy, bro. Excessive. That's too much. So we're coming to my favorite segment. Woo! Here we go. King for an issue. King for an issue. What's the issue? What is this week's issue? Keeper. Give me the issue. So we talked about a couple different ones. Which one did you want to dive into? Oh, damn, bro. It's been like... We talked about flags. We talked about world hunger. We talked about world peace. Oh, we talked about another one. We talked about... The other one we talked about was fixing your local issues. No, not that one. I thought we talked about another one. Those were the four we talked about. But we... Okay, so we talked about flag briefly that kind of talks into a sub ties into a subject that we had previously doesn't it um with that segment i'm specifically talking about flags okay define define flags. so and we have talked about this in a specific region of america yeah but it's not just america that's dealing with it i think it was like minnesota or montana i think it was minnesota They've changed their flag to like a squirrel and all this other stuff we talked about on podcast. But this specifically, what I want to talk about is how do we stop, how do we fix the issue of history being erased because it offends someone? So, and this actually does tie in it from my perspective. Okay. Right. So I mean, we'll, we'll touch on me first before, and so then we'll let you. For an issue, fix the issue of erasing history. Yeah. So, we need to stop pandering to these minority groups. U-turn? U-turn. The thing is, is I don't want to suppress a minority, right? Correct. But that's not what this is. When does, when does it turn into suppressing a minority, though? Like, that's where we're at today. We... We are, are bending not, over backwards. We yeah, no, we are fucking letting ourselves get raped in the ass. No lube. No lube. Fucking nothing but blood. Um, in order to pander to these minorities, and I'm 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 honestly fed up with it. Like, okay, cool. I was cool with removing the the, the Civil War statue. Whatever. I was not cool with dumping said Civil War statues in rivers. Renaming bases? I wasn't... Uh, I'm, I'm... So here's the thing about renaming bases. I am cool with it as long as we legitimately look at it for what it was. We're renaming bases because if you and me are confused by what bases are named what, the enemy is also confused by what bases are named what. And I actually think that that's wasn't... the real... No. I think... That was the real reason that why bases are named, reason, but that wasn't the original. That, that's the official re the official reason is because it offended people because blah 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 whatever. I, I understand the potential of it being the government reason change. Yeah, sure, we're gonna change Camp but Stanley if, if they, to Camp Freedom. If they came camp... out and they were like, "Oh, well, we need to rename uh, Washington to something else because Washington owns slaves." You can fuck off properly because everyone owned slaves back then. You're aware that all the founding fathers went bankrupt. And they all went bankrupt in order to fucking make this country its own and not be owned by England. And free their own slaves. And free their own slaves where they could afford to do so. Yep. Because every slave you freed cost money because you had to pay a fee to free them. And the interesting thing is a majority of slaves for the Founding Fathers still stayed working there as indentured servitude. Mm -hmm. They still indentured, yeah, indentured servitude. They still worked there and was just like, well, you're going to pay me a stipend. It's going to be less normal, but... And I I don't want to dive I on another one. I want to dive into the slavery thing a bit more because yeah. I've got a lot... A lot of history but and just, a lot of what goes over loosely this. Loosely grasping, we can dive into it later. But just loosely, 
how do we how do we fix the issue of erasing history? You just you need to convince. No, I I actually I got it. I've got it. So silent majority, which you and me are actually part of. Silent majority. It's time. Y'all need to stand up, and y'all need to say, "Hey, this is enough. Shut the fuck up." Stop taking away our history. Stop fucking teaching our kids a false history based off of what you want to be taught, right? We're not China. We don't want our kids taught propaganda. Stop bullshit, okay? Stop erasing history. I want it out with all the ugliness, all the warts, the everything. Guess what? America was not the biggest slave-holding station or nation in the world. Station, nation, very similar. I mean, we had, we weren't. We weren't. I mean, we talk about more slaves were shipped to by three fourths. Three fourths of the slaves shipped to the Americas were shipped to South America as a whole, from Africa, from ruling tribes. Who captured them? Who captured them and Prisoner sold them yep. for money so that they could do war on neighboring tribes? Okay, but that goes into an entire other a, other thing we'll talk about. But fixing erasing history, I think you've touched on. It's like stop being, you you really touched on. It. Stop beating around the. We can't erase history. Uh, it well, doesn't matter. It doesn't <clears throat> matter how hard you try. History will always rear it. Dirty end. What and happens if you erase history? We won't learn from it. Yes. You forget. And it repeats itself. We're seeing... Everybody talks about, oh, well, guys, Rome, and they think about it at least once a day. It's like, well, you know what? Rome has a lot we can learn from. Strong men build weak men. Weak men build politicians. Politicians build hard times. Hard times build strong men. And there's a repeating thing. Yeah. We've, and we're, we've built politicians. What yeah. are we building? Strong men. We're in, we're in this, this tribulation we, right now. We are in, in, in between right now. We are about to go into some fucking hard times. And the last time we experienced this was World War II. Before. Before World War II. Because what happened before World War II that built really the last properly time. strong men? Correct, but the last time we experienced this in America was World War II. No, we built strong men in America. In America, what happened? Okay, so the Great have... Depression. That's what built okay. strong men. That's what built the men who fought World War II. Yes, I'm not saying World War II was what. Built yeah, the fuck off. Men. You're wrong. I'm right. Woo. All right, Texas. I'm saying we had strong men in World War II that were built off. Okay, so 20 years. We're talking about your average 18. So 20 years, we can average. 20 years before 1940s, Great Depression was in its height. So they're in here now. So 20 plus years, most of the people in World War II were Great Depression era babies. Hmm. So we're at this. My fix for this is. Don't we put we put history on blast so we can learn from it? Yeah. So we can learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Like hiding it, masking it, tearing down statues. Okay, it offends you. Fine. Take it down, but don't I, remove I, I it think, from history. I think it's actually good that you're offended. I think that you being offended. I think that history, that history existing, those statues existing, and those you having your hurt feelings is good for you, and we they need to stay up. From it. We yes. can learn from Never it. Never remove it. Like, it offends you good. This gives you a drive for something else. I've watched so many freaking videos. It was like, oh, based on a true story, dude was a black gentleman killed by a white gentleman, both gangs, and dude ends up changing his life, helping white Aryan members leave this type of organization mm -hmm. and become... Healthy members of society, remove tattoos, remove the swastika, remove the SS, and they jump into society. But the only way we can do this is if we learn from history. 
removing them from the public face only destroys us because we can't learn. But that's been name pending. That's name pending. I'm Keeper. I'm Mike. I need you to fuck that like button. Throw a comment down below. I'll respond. And as always, tickle, tickle that, that subscribe. subscribe. So hey, girl, hey. It's been us. Woo! Catch you later.